Hello and welcome to TTV News with some latest events in the province and now coming to details. Ladies and gentlemen, on the morning of May 17, the Ministry of Justice have a national online camera summarizing the implementations of the laws on judicial assessment and the process on continuing to innovate and improve the efficiencies of judicial advertising activities. The conference was chaired by Deputy Minister of Justice Mai Lung Khoi and co chaired by Mr. Nguyen Phan Ying, Deputy Head of the Central Internal Affairs Commission. At Jinan Province, the conference was attended by the leaders of the Department of Justice and relevant to the Department's committees and sectors. In recent times, ministry and branches have increased the appointment of judicial experts in the implementation of the law on judicial assessment. To date, the country has 580 judicial assessment organizations that have carried out 1,030,615 cases in major areas as requested by agencies competent to conduct proceedings. The conference comprehensively evaluated the resource limitations and identified causes from their proposed solutions and competent authorities to amend and supplement the law on judicial assessment and propose and recommend that the government continue to deploy and carry out the tasks of the project to continue innovating and improving the effectiveness of judicial appraisal activities. In the conference program, delegates were provided with many presentations and information exchanged from representatives of a number of ministries, branches, central and local agencies on the current status of judicial appraisal activities. On the morning of May 17, Mr. Nguyen Đức Hiển, Deputy Head of the Central Economies Committee, along with the delegation, worked with the Provincial Party Standing Committee to raise the situation of implementing resolution on economic development of the 5th Central Conference, the 12th term. Working with the delegation, there were Mr. Nguyen Man Ho, Deputy Head of the Provincial Party Committee, Ms. Nguyen Dai Thi, Vice Chairwoman of the Standing Committee of the Provincial People's Council, Mr. Yung Van Thang, Vice Chairman of the Provincial People's Committee. Mr. Kiều Công Minh, Director of the Department of Planning and Investment of the Nguyen Province, provided a report at the meeting. There are currently more than 8,200 businesses in the province. In order to promote rapid and sustainable development of the rapid economic sector, the province has issued many support programs for businesses, typically legal support for small and medium-sized enterprises, support businesses to improve productivity and quality of products and goods. At at the same time, 100% of online applications in the field of business registration through the National Business Registration Portal have been received for pilot implementation. Every year, the Provincial Business Committee organizes dialogue conference between the government and businesses to promptly remove difficulties for businesses and investors. At the meeting, Tenant Province made a number of recommendations related to tenant water supply and sewer choice stock companies, such as adding the water supply and rainless fuel to the rub in which the state continues to invest capital to increase the rate of state sales and capital contributions the state capital ratio to 65 percent so that the state retains controlling power. On behalf of the working group, Mr. Nguyen Đức Hiển appreciated the results achieved in the process of implementing the central resolutions in the province. The opinions discussed at the working session are the basis for the Central Economic Committee to study and supplement the draft preliminary project for implementing economic resolutions of the fifth central conference Related to recommendations and proposals of the province, the delegation noted and will synthesize and report to relevant ministry and central branches to consider, edit, and improve institutions and policies to be more suitable in the coming time. Also within the mission at the province on the morning of May 17, Mr. Nguyen Đức Hiển and his delegation had a survey session at Thanh Thanh Công Trust Company, Binh Hòa, General Lottery One Member Limited Liability Company. At the meetings, representatives of units proposed and recommended a number of contents, of which Thanh Thanh Công Binh Hòa Trust Company proposed that the state continue to implement financial support programs in agriculture for businesses 
Meanwhile, Tinan Lottery One member limited liability company reports that the province appeals committee submits to the Ministry of Finance to increase insurance sales to ensure that it makes market demand increasing revenue for the state budget. Regarding recommendations and proposals from the province, the Central Economic Commission Working Group has noted them to report to relevant ministry and central branches to consider and perfect institutions and policies for more suitable in the future. On the morning of May 17, at Vukton Bodegat Bodega Station, Tinan Provincial Bodega comment how the launching ceremony to launch tree planting festival Forever Rich Fun to Alcohol to celebrate the 134th anniversary birthday of resident Ho Chi Minh. This year's tree planting launching ceremony was held at Fulton Bodegate's Bodega Station, which has great importance, both contributing to creating a bright, green, clean, beautiful environment and landscape at the unit, as well as where promoting for alcohol state drinks. Immediately after the launching ceremony, delegates, officers, soldiers, and youth union members planted more than 100 trees. The working group led by Mr. Lê Thanh Bình, Vice Chairman of the Appeals Committee of Tavin Province, on May 17, together with the Board of Directors of Tavin University, had a working session with the Appeals Committee of Tavin Province to discuss the issue in the project proposal to establish a branch of Tavin University in Tavin Province. Welcoming the delegation in Tavin, the were Mr. Nguyen Thanh Ngoc, Chairman of Tavin Province Appeals Committee, Mr. Yung Văn Thắng, Vice Chairman of Tavin Province Appeals Committee and leaders of departments and branches in the province. The delegation of Tavin Province said they decided to establish a branch of Tavin University in Tavin Province, thereby associated with the development goal until 2030, improving road quality and strongly developing high quality human resources for the province. At the same time, develop education, healthcare, culture, and society comprehensively, aiming to be among the advanced parts of the country. Advantages, difficulties, and potential of the project proposal to establish a branch of Tavin University in Tianan Province was discussed at the conference. Some suitable occupations that Tianan needs include health, education, tourism, agriculture, and environmental resources, plan to maintain and evaluate enrollment sources in Tianan, optimize use of land fund. In the coming time, the project will continue to be researched by both sides. On the morning of May 17, at the Provincial Gymnasium, the Provincial Service Committee organized the Provincial Firefighting and Rescue Professional Competition with the team Inter-Family Fire Revenge and Fighting Safety Team at the Provincial level of 2024. After challenging roles at the district, town and city levels, nearly 80 athletes from the Inter-Family Fire Prevention Fighting Safety Team had their best achievements representing nine localities in Tenen Province. With the best achievements representing nine localities in Tenen Province, participated in the provincial round competition. They competed in two contests, including answering theoretical questions related to fire safety knowledge and practicing timing with the content of saving people and property in a supposition of burning house. The competition ended successfully with the first prize for the whole team going to Tenen City Fire Prevention and Fighting Safety Team. The team will also represent represent the province to participate in the regional competition role in Barrier Vung Tau province at the end of next June. Development investment capital implemented in April 2024 reached over 234 billion Vietnam dong, of which capital from the provincial state budget is over 200 billion Vietnam dong, down 4.44%. District budget capital only reached over 33 billion Vietnam dong, also down compared to the previous month. The reason is that construction projects are temporarily suspended during the holiday period, affecting the volume of projects performed during the month. Accumulated informants, investment capital from the state budget managed by the locality is estimated to be over 976 billion Vietnam dong, reaching nearly 23% of the yearly plan. Compared to the same period, the decrease is over 18%. 
According to the Department of Statistics, total revenue from warehouses and transportation support services in Thailand in April 2024 is estimated to reach over 523 billion Vietnamese dong, down nearly 13% compared to the previous month. Accordingly, passenger support reached more than 272 billion Vietnamese dong, down over 21%. Freight transport reached over 234 billion Vietnamese dong, an increase of 0.28% compared to the previous month. Cumulative revenue is the first four months of the year, reached over 2,385 billion Vietnamese dong, an increase of 30.55% compared to the same period, of which passenger transportation revenue reached over 1,000. 378 billion Vietnamese dong. Freight transportation revenue reached over 941 billion Vietnamese dong, and transport support service revenue reached over 57 billion Vietnamese dong. In addition, passenger transport volume in April 2024 was estimated to reach 3,794,000 passengers, down 11.02 percent compared to the previous month. Freight transport volume was estimated at 1,661,000 tons, an increase of 0.25 percent. Cumulatively, in the first four months of the year, freight transport was estimated to reach 6,670,000 tons, an increase of 9.10 percent over. The same period last year. The Orient Tainan Wheels announced an epidemic resort on May 19. This event marked the province's effort and development cooperation with investors. The construction of this resort plays an important role in the development of high tech agriculture, in particular, and the agricultural sector of Tainan in general. This is the chain that ensures this free livestock farming in the nucleus for livestock development in our province, and it is among the province free retro status in the field of agriculture. Currently, our value of agricultural sector accounts for 19% of GRDP. The livestock industry alone accounts for 23% of the value of the agricultural sector. Therefore, our development of high-tech livestock farming in this DC free zone will be the foundation for us to develop agriculture. In Tân Châu, it is oriented to from five high-tech agricultural areas. Among them, there are four areas with livestock farming, developing livestock farming in a centralized, modern, deceptive manner and meeting agricultural production rights standards is the province orientation and in the coming time. Our statuses and upcoming projects are that we have eight projects, including one food factory project and seven projects in which we mostly focus on breeding animals. After that, we had a series of the can pig hatcheries, and we will choose 2024-2025 as a pivotal time for Hong Young Group and the Hearst to invest in Tenen. One of the reasons the Hearst Group and Hong Young Group choose Tenen to build the high-tech complex is because Tainan's future has advantages in traffic and geographical location. Maybe in the near future, maybe in the future we will develop the export market to Cambodia or bring products to Ho Chi Minh City. Three years ago, our affiliate chain opened an ad incubation factory in Dangbang. This is the first step and the second is in May 19. I think there will be many more steps later. Among them, one rotet is repairing a processing rotet for poultry products. I hope there will be many more projects. Currently in the province, small-scale livestock farming accounts for about 30%. Livestock farming follows a natural system, open banks, so safety measurement from this day is still a big challenge. Vaccination of livestock and poultry in farming households faces many difficulties, especially in rural areas. Therefore, building a DC free zone is one of the important solutions to rapidly prevent epidemic. In particular, when we integrate into the world economy with the new generation FTAs being implemented, Vietnam in general and Tinan in particular, if they want to participate in the global supply chain of livestock products, they must make it public transparency about the livestock production chain from breast. 
Fit Disease Prevention, Preliminary Processing and Processing, promoting the construction of disease-free livestock regions and chains not only serves the prevention of livestock diseases, but also ensures the supply of livestock products for the domestic market and boosts exports. Ladies and gentlemen, people with rabies symptoms are completely incurable. 90% of people are infected with rabies from affected dogs. In order to raise awareness of dog and cat owners, perform vaccinations and revenge rabies from May 14 to 16, 2024, the Department of Animal Husbandry and Veterinary Service organized the vaccination campaigns against rabies in dogs and cats in Houghton Towns. Injection points are concentrated at offices of Quarter 1, 3 and 4 Long Hoa World. The total amount of rabies vaccine is 300 doses, allocated to Huaitan Animal Hospital and Veterinary Station according to the plan of the Department of Agriculture and Rural Development. On the first day of launching in Quarter 1, many owners brought native dogs to be vaccinated. On the second day, in quarter three, 113 animals were vaccinated. On the last day, May 16, 2024, in quarter four, 97 dogs were vaccinated. On for free, according to records, most people who bring their pets to be vaccinated are aware of rabies prevention. At home, I only raise one dog. But every one year or six months, I have to check for rabies or disease, and I have to get vaccinated again. This vaccination gathering point was announced on last speakers, so I found it easier and more convenient for us to get our dogs vaccinated. Previously, officials said the head of the veterinary department had to go to a house to vaccinate. Thanks to this focus point, the professional sector conveniently integrates propaganda to let people know that, according to regulations, local authorities, Kamir and World Levels, must assign personnel to monitor, manage, and compile a list of households, rising dogs and cats, develop a plan to capture free roaming dogs and cats and enforce rabies vaccination for dogs and cats. Violations in the management of dog and cats breeding and failure to vaccinate against rabies will be strictly handled in accordance with the law. Dog and cat owners must carry out the following responsibilities. Confinement, be on cost in case a dog or cat bites a person. Compensate materially for people beaten by dog and cats according to the provisions of law. In the planning of the province for the period of 2021-2030, we a vision to 2050, the province has clearly identified new driving forces for social economic development according to one social security belt redevelopment zones for instances of driving forces in which the province focuses on implementing seven strategic factors including infrastructure development, human resource development institutions, Developing small and medium enterprises, sustainable development, green tenant, tourism development, service economic development. I hope that the central government, the Prime Minister, Ministry, branches, provinces and cities will continue to pay attention, direct and support to complete the approval of the provincial planning implementation plan associated with the regional planning implementation plan, complete procedures to implement key contents and projects such as expressways of Ho Chi Minh Mok Bai, Goyo Samat, Feiwans, Urban industrial chain services along the Trans Asia Corridor, Benyung Tenant Development Corridor, Mobile Portugal Economy Zone to realize the plan, creating a new premise and motivation for tenants. At the ceremony to announce the provincial plan, businesses also pledged to continue to accompany the government to realize the set goals. Hong Nhân Group considers tenant a priority and key locality in the group's development strategy. The Hearst Group, Netherlands and Hong Nhân Group has surveyed and research investment in high-tech agricultural projects with a total investment of about 2,500 billion Vietnamese in Tân Châu District. It is expected that on May 19, we will broadly hold the inauguration ceremony the HN tenant high-tech livestock area in parallel with this inauguration 
collaboration ceremony. We also held a groundbreaking ceremony for seven key projects belonging to the DX and high tech agricultural complex chain, including system operating farms, export broiler farms, and food processors, with a total capital of about 2,500 billion Vietnam. It can be affirmed that with the companionship of the government, people and businesses in implementing the tasks and solutions set out in the provincial planning, this is an important factor contributing to Danish proper development, right thinking, creating new motivation, inspiring future development. That's all for today's TV News. Thank you for being with us and goodbye for now.